Hey, what is up heroes and welcome to Detective Pikachu. I am so excited to play this game. When I first saw the trailer many years ago, I was hoping this game would come to the UK and it finally, finally has. Pikachu's voice just seems hilarious this game. It's gonna be a bunch of fun, so let's jump right into it. New game. Alright, so we start from the beginning, obviously. In easy mode you can touch the symbol if you need some support. Uh, we are not gonna play easy mode. Play for normal. See if this woman can understand me. Pika, 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 pika! That answers that question. So why can I understand them? Pika! Hey, get out of the road! Pika! Pika, 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 pika! <laughs> this is the worst. There's gotta be someone out there who gets what I'm saying. It's been two months since my dad disappeared. I've come here to Rhyme City to start looking for clues. I'm gonna start by speaking with his friends and co-workers. Let's see. The Baker Detective Agency. Hmm? Hey! What is this? You got it! Come on! Wait! Hold it! Hey! I can't see! You turn red! Hold on to it! Easy for you to say, but I got you! Ow, 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 ow! My ears! That's me! No! Sorry, old timer! Pikachu! You're stretching out my ears! Would you let me go? That was you talking? Could have been more gentle setting me down! Sorry? Huh? Are you able to understand what I'm saying? Uh, is everything all right with you? Just talking to yourself? What? Wait, she didn't understand him? So, it seems that you're the only one who can understand what I'm saying. That's impossible. I don't really know what's going on, but you can understand me, so, all right. <laughs> what are you talking about? No. Oh. The Apom, Pikachu, the necklace! Let's follow him. Are you ready? We can't just stand here while these ladies are in trouble. Wait, well, hold on a second. Already in love with uh, Pikachu. <laughs> so what, you're saying you're gonna do? I do, yeah, but this seems more important and I got here early. So I should be able to uh, make my appointment. There's some place you need to stop off at. I can show you the way there later. Okay, come on. Let's get these guys and get the necklace back. Let's right. go. So this is move. Alrighty. You can talk to random people as well. Track down the apom. There they are. What are they doing? It's uh, a lot of ketchup. I hope they don't let it all go to waste. Oh, trying to go to waste in my face. That's not too bad, even with all the ketchup on it. 
Okay, Maginé! Stop right there! Get back that necklace! Oh, they're quick. And now they've run for higher ground. Well, they're going all out, aren't they? Let's use that. Let's raise it up. Don't worry about me. Hurry and go get that necklace. No, I can't do that. I'll pull you up, Pikachu. Don't you worry. Well, thank you very much. Guess they got away. Well, that sucks. Oh, wow. Yep, looks like they're gone, but they sure made a mess of things. Yeah, hard to believe that Pokemon could run a mark like that in the heart of the city. Mm-hmm. Actually, these kinds of incidents have been happening a lot lately, with Pokemon suddenly running riot, but this time seems a little different. Hmm. What happened with the Apom? Well, we lost sight of them. So the necklaces... I'm so ashamed. Hey, why so gloomy? They've left so many traces behind, a little investigating, and we'll figure out where the apron went in no time. What, you can do that? A, a Pikachu? What, you doubt me? Look here, just tell these ladies here that they can relax, because we're gonna get the necklace back. Uh, here's the thing. Don't worry, because we're gonna get the necklace back for you. Really? Oh, thank you, sir. Okay, in that case, let's get right to the investigation. What exactly will we do to, the, uh, to investigate? Well, I do have you here, so why don't you start by interviewing witnesses? Ask the people around here whether they've seen the apron or the necklace. I can't speak with humans, so I'm relying on you. Okay, got it. Do you have a pen and notebook? Sure, I've got that, so... So you just record the testimony and evidence from your interviews in that notebook. Okay, got it. And you can create your own unique case list. Okay, I'll give it a try. So, case list. Necklace. So it belongs to the girl, but Apom took it. Well, obviously. <laughs> Can I sell a picture of it? Alright. Just looking around looks really cool. It's so got a Diggers Bee. Yo! Really Diggers Digging. <laughs> Dig? Um. About the Apom. Do you see Apom? Dig. Hmm, okay, so that's the deal. What'd it say? Hm, didn't understand it? Nope, couldn't, I could only hear his Pokemon cry. So you only understand what I say? Well, it said that there were tons of Apom running away, because it was a bit uh, broad to count as testimony. With you here, Pikachu, we can get great information by interviewing Pokemon too. Alright, sounds good. Alright, end conversation. Alright, let's go talk to this dude. Good like, Prince here, so come just follow the Prince. What's going on? Alright, ask about Apom. Did any Apom come this way? Yeah, they suddenly fell from the roof, so I was surprised. Do you know which way they went? One of them ran down this road, deep into the park. Some others came by, too, but they ran all over the place, so I don't know. So one of them ran into the park. Thank you. Okay. Okay, so we know where one of them went. Gotta find the other one. Gotta only talk to one of them. Oh, look at that fur frail. A fur fashionista. I like these little descriptions of the uh, the Pokemon you get. What is it? So, uh... About the Apom. Looking for some Apom? Please tell us if you've seen anything. Someone messed with Furfrow. His fur went back to looking uh, must. What a disaster. Okay, speak with Furfrow. Maybe Furfrow knows something? I'm here, aren't I? Leave it to me. Hey, Furfrow. You seem kind of blue. Is that because Apom messed with you? What's that? That's terrible. What's up? What's it telling you? Yeah, it says its partner insists on feeding it berries it doesn't like. Apparently the berries are nutritious, so she feeds them to it once a week. It said that today is the day that happens. So that's why it's miserable. It has nothing to do with Apom. Yeah, it says it doesn't know anything about the Apom. <laughs> oh, I guess Pokemon think, lots of, uh, think about lots of stuff, huh? Yeah, they do. Right, end conversation. Then we got this person, yo. Yes? Do you see any Apom run this way? 
Yeah, one flew right over my head. I guess it went wild here too. Seems that way. Who are you talking to? Ah, uh, nobody. So which way did the apron go? That way. In the direction of the bank. Thank you. So we've got the location of both of them now. Looking good. Let's keep this up. Let's keep this up in our interviews. Okay. Okay. Hey Pikachu, let's go over there for a second. Mm, what's up? Just come on. Okay, got it. Just then, when I blooded something out to you, that woman got a funny look on her face. Oh, that makes sense. It's a natural reaction. But you seem like a weird guy. <laughs> it might make it harder to get someone to uh, say much to you. Just be careful when we're around other people. Okay, but it's inconvenient if we can't talk. How about I give you a signal when I have uh, something to say? Yeah, that's a good idea. Great, let's try it out. Just talk to me if you see me see me give you a signal, okay? Alright, what's the signal then? Hey. Hey. That? Okay. Oh, great, you noticed. Now if there's something that I notice, then I'll give you a sign. Keep your eyes open. Alright, sounds good. Let's just talk to these two next, but... Okay. Can you go to find it? Uh, yeah. About the necklace. I'm sure we can get back the necklace. Please do, it seems very precious. Alright, Apom. The Apom in this town always like this? Not exactly, but I'm not sure what the deal is with all these recent Pokemon incidents we've been having. Okay, and sort of the little girl. About the necklace. Sure, it was blue and sparkly and I wore it every day. My mum gave that necklace to me. Sounds like it's important to you. Got to do our best to find it. Okay, by the Apom. Sounds like you're having a rough day, are you hurt? No, I'm okay. That's a relief. Right. So we know one Apom's down here. And the other's to the right way. Pikachu wants to talk to us. So the Apom split up when they ran off. Which uh, which way did the Apom with the necklace go? Right, I spoke with the people around here, but I didn't turn up any clues. Gotcha. In times like this, you need to look up for evidence. They made quite a scene. So I'm sure uh, something will turn up if you look carefully around the area. For example, why don't you have a look at that shutter? Shutter here. Oh, what? There has to be traces of the Apom with the necklace somewhere. Let's thoroughly investigate suspicious locations. Okay. So obviously got this. The red traces. Sounds like ketchup. And look at that shape. It's definitely an Apom tail. Because they were caught on that ketchup. <laughs> ah, the ketchup from back there. This seems like it might be a clue. Let's ask around about the ketchup. Talk to the people. Around here, you might try that guy wearing the hat. Sure. May uh, be able to get new information from someone by asking them a different question. Okay, ketchup tail print, good to know. And let's get the white one as well if we can. Alright. Now let's go talk to the guy with the hat. What's going on? About the ketchup. I know it's of ketchup in the shape of an apom tail right over there. Uh, did you see anything? Yeah, the apom was really making a racket, so it also smacked his tail against that table. Flipped over and one hit. Really? The Apom was that strong? Hey, don't get skittish. You've got me with you. <laughs> That's right, after all. I know that Pikachu can use Thunderbolt. F Thunderbolt? Uh, oh yeah, what a beatdown. <laughs> Sounds like you learned some uh, new information. It's important to speak uh, multiple times to people you've spoken with before. Okay. Good to know. Let's talk to you two. So, about the ketchup. That trace of ketchup in the ship of Apom's tail over there. Do you see anything? Now that you mention it, one of the Apom had a red tail. That was ketchup, huh? Then I'm glad it didn't get any, uh, get any on Furfrow. Do you remember anything about the Apom with ketchup on it? No, because I was confused. Oh, dead end, man. Alright, let's talk to her. Yes? About the paint, paint tracers. Was the, this paint trace from Apom? Yeah. Seems like it wanted to drip the paint from his tail. Okay. What about, uh, ketchup with you guys? Nothing about ketchup. Diggersby? About the ketchup. Uh, so, you said that you saw Apom, right? Did you see one with a red tail? Oh, really? What's up? So that the red-tailed Apom was the one with the necklace. That's a great clue. Thanks, Diggersby. Ooh. Okay. So now we can, uh... Wait. Do you want to talk? I'll gather testimony from the other Pokemon. Okay, I guess when it flashes when you want to do it. So we go down here. We'll check it out. Well, we know the uh, the apron with the red tail has the ketchup or the um, the necklace. So we should go.
go, right? Surely. Alright, looks like you've collected a good amount of information. It's time to start dedu deducing. Deducing? What do I do? Consider which way the ape one went based on the testimony and evidence that you've collected so far. Okay. That's great. Case notes on a page in your notebook. Okay, got it. So, uh, case. Okay, so figure out where Apon went. Well, obviously it went north, so, um, yeah. Oh, that's a nice drawing. Very well done for a first try. So, just like in the diagram you've drawn, the path splits off at a certain point. Let's see. We have testimony that the Apom split up and fled down different paths. So then, in which direction did the Apom with the necklace flee? If we were amateurs, this is where we'd quit. But of course we're not. You've got the crucial evidence, right? It's those marks that the tails made. Now do you remember where you saw those marks? I did. Alright. Okay, I get it. That goes there. And this went there. Okay. Oh, okay. There you go. You've got a good memory, all right. If that's the case, we can pin down the whereabouts of the Apom with the necklace. And that's all because we've heard some certain testimony. All right, then. Which bit of testimony was it? So, as big as me. Okay. Got it. Dig as B. Now we should have our answer, right? Which way did the A palm run off to? This way or that? It went north. A palm with the necklace up there. You got it. Great job. Thank you. Okay. Did you find anything out? Yeah. Looks like the Apom ran off that way. So we're gonna follow. Good idea. We're counting on you. Please. It's my precious necklace. Alright. Just leave it to us. <laughs> what are you trying to do? Show off for the girls? No, of course not. Hey, whatever you need to do, my friend, I'm all for it. And it seems like you might be somewhat helpful on this case. Are you saying you're a real detective? I'm not just a detective. I'm a great detective. Detective Pikachu. Speaking of, what's your name? I'm Tim. Tim Goodman. Tim? Yeah, what's wrong? Nothing. Nothing at all. Nice to meet you, Tim. Now, let's go find the Apom. Right. Not <laughs> the little uh, loading screen in the bottom right. Little Detective Pikachu. Chapter 1. Tanti Park? Tahanti Park? No idea. Isn't that an napalm? <laughs> Smells like a case. Now it's getting interesting. What do you think happened, Pikachu? Hmm. Oh, just a berry. I don't see any wounds or anything. Just seems to be unconscious. I don't see the necklace anywhere. If we investigate why it's unconscious, I bet we'll figure that out too. Okay, for us to pursue, uh, if this is persistently only to find that the necklace is gone and the apom is unconscious. It's just at times like these that we need to calmly sort out the situation. Why don't you open up your notes like you did earlier? Okay, case notes. So, figure out where apom went. And find the necklace. Uh, this has all happened in a very short amount of time. But fortunately, there have been some traces left behind. Which means we'll need to investigate the scene. Okay, so let's start investigating. Okay, look for traces of the incident by investigating the scene where it happened. In other words, this place. Okay, have a go at it. Alright, so we got... Let's look at Apom. Got this. Soft drink can? Maybe the Apom was drinking it. But I think it seems like trash. It's empty. Perhaps it rolled here from that garbage can. 
Over there. Maybe the trash scattered where it, where it fell over. Okay. Uh, let's look at the newspaper. Speed up copy of today's morning paper. Oh, details on the ice down highway incident. Stuff to read, because it's ripped. Okay, and you got the berry. It's deep red from the ketchup and berry. Mm-hmm. This is a spicy berry, so it doesn't seem like it would have been holding the berry to eat. Oh, got some leaves. They're withered, but they seem like grass that grows around here. And you got April itself. It's got a lot of fine scratches, maybe it was knocked out in a quarrel with someone. What? There's something under its body. Ah, oh, but it's a murkrow. What about this feather? Great job, Tim. Seems like a clue to the culprit. Okay, seems like we're pretty much done investigating here. Signs of a quarrel. The lost necklace seems pretty certain that the apom was attacked by someone. But who? Uh, let's look into that, that first. Do you remember how to investigate? Write down the details of the incident and things you've come to understand in your notebook. Got it. We'll start with the unconscious apom. Alright. First issue at hand is who or what could have attacked the apom. Whoever did that probably has the necklace, you see? When you investigated the scene, did you happen to find any potential clues to the culprit? Uh, the black feather. So, what about the black feather? This is just a theory. Maybe Apom was climbing the tree and got attacked by the owner of the black feather. Does the feather call to mind a certain characteristic of the culprit? Uh, a Pokemon with feathers, obviously. Yes, no doubt about it. This feather is from a Pokemon. Here's what we should do. Let's go around the park and we'll search for who this feather belongs to, right? That will be the first step in our investigation. And when you see Pokemon with feathers, be sure to jot them down. Okay, let's get going. All right, let's, let's make go. Sure you keep up. I mean, I'm keeping up. Take the Pikachu. You need to keep up with me, boy. Here's the other black feather. All right, let's look around so we can find. Oh, hi. So, about the black feather. Hmm. Seems pretty absent-minded. Okay, about the man's, action, uh, man's actions. What are you up to? Looking for something? I seem to have dropped my precious pen. Sorry, thank you very much. Mm, this guy is also looking for something. The missing pen. Okay, about the apom. Since the apom was in a quarrel in a tree near the fountain, did you see anything? Haven't seen anything. We done? I'm busy. This guy, what's he so busy with? Obviously the pen, we know now. Oh, Bedoves? So I thought Murkrow, but... I don't know. Ah, oh, the Bedove! Seemed like they flew away because you startled them. Sorry about that. That's right, Tim. You let our suspects get away. Pikachu, you're just as guilty as I am of that. Sorry made them fly away. The Bedove, right? What cute Pokemon. Yeah, aren't they? Glad to see that you appreciate them. There are Pedove everywhere. Is this your first time seeing one? Yeah, they weren't any they weren't any in the town I lived in. Alright, you came from far away. Most of the Pokemon in Rhyme City must seem strange to you. Hopefully we can gather the Pedove again. Somehow, how about uh, you ask this guy? Alright. Wait, let me look around first. The place is actually a lot bigger than I thought. Is that Scraggy? Oh, okay. Hmm. So oh god, I've got a lot to talk about. So about the ape. oh black black feather first. Sorry, I don't. Although the back side of Pedov looks black, uh, is that right? Thank you. Seems we need to examine the tail of Pedov somehow. All right, next got Apom. Since the Apom was in a quarrel at the tree by the fountain, have you seen anything? No, sorry, I didn't notice anything. Been feeling the Pedov this whole time. Okay, about the necklace. You see a necklace has a blue decoration on it. No, I haven't seen it. Did you lose it around here? No, it was taken by Apom in front of the station, and we tracked it here. Oh, sounds rough. It's unusual to see Apom in front of the station. Normally, they uh, don't leave the park. They always, uh, they're always they always in the trees near the pond. Oh, there must have been a reason why they uh, appeared in the front of the station. Okay, about the Bidove. Uh What should we do to get the Bidove together again? Well, if I scatter food for them, I think they come to me. It's about Bidove are used to me. Food? You can get it at the cafe in this park. The cafe, huh? Thank you. Let's go get that food. Alright. End conversation, go speak to Scraggy. 
Oh, got a pen with a little, uh, little child playing football. What, Pikachu? Got to gather information, and the only way to do that is by talking to everyone. That's what I'm trying to do. As I start by talking to the lady who's cleaning things up at the crime scene. Okay. Oh, we've got a trash can there. Apron was just in a quarrel by that tree over there. Has it calmed down? Yeah. Oh good, I was scared so I didn't want to get too close. Now I can do my job. It can be dangerous to be in the middle of a fight. So was Apon fighting with another Pokemon? Did you see anything? Sorry but I don't know, I kept my distance. Black Feather. Looking for a Pokemon, uh, do you know whose feather this is? Seems like it came from a bird Pokemon. That's all I can tell. Okay, about bird Pokemon. There are four kinds, the park is divided into three areas. And each area has a different assortment of bird Pokemon living in it. Uh, there are three areas. This is the fountain area. Go right uh, right to find the cafe area, then each area is on the left. Okay. So, about the fountain area. And we have Padov here in the fountain area. They often play around the fountain. Cafe area. Taylo is in the cafe area. I always see them uh, preening their feathers. Okay, and then we've got the nature area. Starly and Murkrow. I knew it would be a Murkrow. That would be Starly and Murkrow. Tell me about uh, each of them. Sure, Starly always forms groups of three. That Murkrow is self-indulgent and it uh, seems to fly about. Including them going outside the park during the daytime. Okay, is that everything we can discuss? Yes, it is. Alright. So we want to go this way. Some Starly, yo. Free is definitely a crowd. <laughs> okay, about the black feather. Hey, got a sec? Do you recognize this feather? You don't, huh? Actually, someone attacked Apom in the fountain area. This is a clue to the culprit. Oh, and we don't think you're suspicious, but can we have one of your feathers? Great, thanks. You understand? In has helped us out. You got a Starly feather. Okay, about Murkrow. Murkrow lives around here, right? We haven't seen it. Uh, do you know where it is gone? It's gone looking for shiny things. Oh, it's definitely taking the necklace. So it likes sparkling things. Collects them and takes them to its nest, eh? Where is its nest? Are you perhaps familiar with Apom? Okay, so there is an Apom in this area as well. Thanks, we'll try asking it. Right, and about the Apom. Seems to find out where it is. You almost got your feathers plucked once? I guess those Apom have been uh, making lots of trouble here too. Oh, we got Pugina just chilling. The models of this game are like quite nice, they're really adorable. Oh, there's Apom above. <laughs> What's it saying? Don't get in the way of when I'm playing, it says. Okay. Um. Yo. Oi, Pom, I'd like to speak with you. There. Pull back. No way we can talk to it like this. Hmm, if we could just settle down Puccina. True. Alright, so how are we going to settle down Puccina? Oh, mighty Ina there. My. Queen of the park. Oh. Hey, mighty Ina. I want to talk with you for a bit. Puccina is... What is it? Well, even though it's a nap time, one Puccina hasn't come back, so the other one won't sleep and it's causing Mighty Ina some trouble. Pokemon can have tough lives too, I guess. If we find it, we'll tell it to uh, come home. So have a chat with us, please. Alright, about the black feather. Hey, we know it's not your fur. Okay, uh, about Murkrow. So, uh, you don't encounter it often, but it seems notable okay. And Puccina. Oh, Puccina have uh, been likely to have gone. Oh, it's always uh, playing in the flower beds and shrubbery over there. Okay, if I, uh, if I notice a spot where likely it would be, I'll pay close attention to it. So it's not the Puccina we just saw, right? They cry is loud, so Puccina always follows them around. Seems like a, a brutal relationship. <laughs> okay. Yo. First, gotta do something with Puccina. What can we do to sell it down? Uh, 
Find the other one. Yeah, if we get both of them together, the Manina will put them to bed. Let's look for Puccina. So I've been trying to do. Right, so can't go this way. It's got to look like a flower bed. Let's talk to you first. Howdy. Show him the black feather. Do you know which Pokemon as feather this is? It's pitch black, huh? Maybe it's the, the one. Uh, maybe it's that one's, but there are other black coloured ones. I don't know. Okay. About oh, Starly. Those form a group of three and fly around this area. They land on branches or on top of that table there. Okay, and they're Murkrow. So yeah, they seem to fly around during the day, but they're often gone. I sometimes see them fighting with Apom. Aha! So, about the Apom. Look, it's up, uh, it's up that tree over there. We'll come down while Puccina is there. Puccina recently settled in this park, and ever since then it's been like this. Alright, so looking for a flower bed, right? Let's go to the other side on the right, maybe we can find it. So what we have to do, we'll find the guy's pen as well, wherever that is. Oh, the apom has gone now. Guess it doesn't really matter, does it? Our Pikachu wants to talk. Come on now, you can't hold back. You can always talk to me, you know? Even if I'm not sending my signal. Okay. The owner of this black feather is the one who attacked that Apom. Now, let's identify which Pokemon it was. Who's that Pokemon? It's Murkrow. I'm telling you, it's Murkrow. Okay. Nice, you can't... Oh, you can't talk to these. So. About the Apom. A little while ago, it seems that Apom was in a fight at the tree over there. You know anything about it? A fight? I didn't notice anything like that. I've been okay. practicing my passing with Scraggy here for quite a while. Oh, okay, thanks. So, about the black feather. It's pitch black, huh? I feel like I've seen it somewhere, but I don't know. Uh, necklace? Yeah. Nope. Okay, straight to the point. And Puccina? Puccina, how did it come this way? Okay, that's not good. Scraggy? No. Always playing in the park. Okay, about the necklace. Do you know about a necklace? It has a blue decoration on it. And what? You don't remember kicking it or seeing it? Okay. Uh, what about the Apom? Yeah. Recently there have been a been fewer pranks, but on the other hand, it has started to do more mean-spirited ones. Okay. But you had your eye on someone, and they may have taken the necklace. Hmm, that's helpful. Thanks. So about the kid. Is that kid your partner? Oh, a ball came flying at Scraggy, Scraggy kicked it, and they became friends. Ever since then. Scraggy's been coaching him. Oh, that's very nice. So, Pedubs. You run into them many times, but they're still aloof, eh? Oh, that's really adorable. Alright, so this is the cafe area. We need to get some food for the Pidov as well. Maybe the Pidov can tell us where things are. Oh. Oh, a Tepig! Hello. That's something to say. About the necklace. Look for a necklace with a blue decoration on it. Have you seen it? No, it's not something you, you can eat? Huh, I guess you haven't seen it. <laughs> Black feather. No, don't eat it. No, don't even taste it. Whew. We've followed through on the key evidence. It says it feels like it's seen it before, but it's not sure. About it hiding. Oh, you were looking for berries? Did you find any? You give us something you found? Oh, it's a coin, thanks. So we've got a coin. Right. Hello? Yes? About the Apom. So, there was a fight, I don't know about today, but the Apom have seemed to feel inferior since Mighty Ina started living in the park. They've really started to cut loose in areas without Mighty Ina. They play so many pranks that it's led to more and more fights. Okay, about the Black Feather. Maybe Taylor? Well, um, I feel like maybe I've seen one where the pond is, on the opposite side of the park. I'm not sure. Okay. Just make sure we look around everywhere. Can we go in here? We can't go in here, but can we buy seeds from you? Oh, place an order. Oh, time for a break. In that case, order a coffee for me too. Oh, you drink coffee? Yeah, I don't just drink it. I love it. So order me one up. Oh, okay, uh, two coffees, please. Okay, uh, got it. Slurp off, two coffees, please. 
Oh, the best taste tester. <laughs> oh, nice work. This is the first time I've seen a Pokemon drink coffee. Hey Tim, delicious things aren't limited to Pokemon or people. Drinking coffee under a blue sky? Isn't it awesome? Of course I know a better cafe than this one. Just say it right in front of the owner. I mean, it's helpful. Right, so about the necklace. Hmm, that uh, just smells normal. I guess you haven't seen it. Okay, thanks. Uh, black feather. Oh, you can't tell because my smell is on it. Okay, thanks. About the coffee. Just sweet. About work. Have you had a lot of customers? Pretty busy? Ah, so it's mostly people here. Well, I guess it's a cafe for people, isn't it? Right. So we want some dove food. So there's a way to get dove uh, some food. Yeah, we have some portions made from stuff like scraps of bread. You can have some if you like. Yes, I would. Right, about the black feather. Well, Mokro is dark black, and it's the backside for dove, and Taylor's feathers are pretty dark too. Coffee. Pikachu liked it too, I think. Pikachu did? Never mind, it's a nice shop. <laughs> Alright. Uh, got these two to talk to still. Can I help you? About the necklace. It's a necklace? I have one myself. Is this what you mean? No, this one has a blue decoration on it. Oh, sorry, but I haven't seen it. Black feather? Maybe Taylo? They must fly around here. I do think black feathers are pretty. Taylo, thank you. I haven't seen a Taylo yet. What's up? About the necklace. Something you lost? I haven't seen any necklace in this park except for the one she's wearing. Thank you. And then black feather. The tailor around here are kind of black, but maybe the tailor feathers are more beautiful. They're always uh, preening, so there are lots of feathers lying around when they are done. Okay, so they lose them when preening. If so many fell, I'm not sure they'd all be gone. Right. Any place else we haven't examined? Oh. Yo! <laughs> Pretty much his favourite pastime. So about the necklace. Is that right? Thanks. It says it wouldn't look for stuff on the ground. It uh, sure does. Sure does put on airs. Okay, black feather. You must know it's a Murkrow, right? What did it say? It said it doesn't want its pretty feathers to be touched by our dirty hands. Seems pretty severe. I guess it won't show us. Okay. Uh, can we get to the other side of the the pond then we saw to the left side right so let's summon some uh, Padav and talk to them look at that back so soothing I can feel relaxed when I'm playing with Padav so cute who are you McCoy this guy seems pretty tired let's keep quiet for his sake Hey, but up, did you attack Apom or something? Hmm, so Apom, but don't remember if you attacked it or not? Okay, this guy's a bird brain. He forgets everything immediately. Okay, then we'll just take a feather that looks like it's about to come out. It's got a stripe on it, so it's not the same feather. Alright, we just need like a Taylor feather. But we know we get Taylor feathers from when it's preening, but it didn't drop any, so I don't know if we can get one. Let's have another look. It might be gone now. We can talk to it again and see what we can do. Nope. I think there'd be like one there. But there isn't. Alright, so what we're gonna have to do. Wait, it went. This is. Good job, Tim. Maybe a Taylor feather. Right, so we've got. Uh, Taylor, Padove, and. Starly feather, but they're not. Is that Starly? No. Murkrow. There's no Starly. Padove and. Uh... Oh, is a little Padove there. Oh, there's Apom. He's on the bench now. Still unconscious. Oh, in the bush. Wait. You can tickle it with a black feather. Nope, not waking up. Pugina, you it? Yeah, I found it. Whoa, whoops. 
Pikachu, that pup. Alright, it's nap time. Martina has been looking for you. Hopefully we'll sleep quietly now. Let's go have a look at the pond. Okay. Wait, what's that down here? Oh, it's another Pidove. Alright, sweet. So we, yeah, we can't get down there. Before I go speak to Fiona, I want to speak to Mighty Ian. I might get a reward or something. Oh no, just sleeping comfortably. Nice. So, hey, Pom. Yo. That Poochie is sleeping. I guess you've been uh, freed up. Oh, good for you. So, about the April in front of the station. Your power took off with a necklace. Nothing about that? Oh, you've been stuck in the treetop all day, so you don't know about your pal? Okay, about fight with Murkrow. Heard there was uh, some kind of fight. Did something happen with Murkrow? Ah, so when you were playing with your power a little while ago, you inadvertently climbed the uh, tree that Murkrow lives in. Murkrow attacked because it said you were intruding on its territory, and since then, the April and Murkrow in the park always fight whenever they see each other. Okay, Murkrow's nest. So about Murkrow's nest. The fig tree near the pond, huh? That's... Oh, sweet. Thanks. And I'm just showing the black hair, why not? Might get a bit of information. It's Murkrow's, really? Sweet. You guys call all the time, so there's no mistake in it, huh? Okay. So we go back to the tree by the pond, and go find this Murkrow and hopefully get the necklace back. Alright, tree by the pond, so it's gotta be this one? Wait, which tree? I don't see no tree at the moment. Wait. When we found our victim, it was posed like this. So let's think about that. Okay. It's always important to consider every little thing, but you know that. Okay. We can tickle it now. So it's one of these trees. It's a Murkro nest. It's not these ones. I don't think it's down here because it's by the pond. Definitely not one of these ones. Okay, so what are we missing? Missing one little clue. I didn't examine the bin, so I might go examine that and see what comes up. So I didn't examine this. Not oh, trash cans empty, okay. Right, case notes. Unfortunately, Talos feather isn't the same color or even the same shape. Okay. Let's look for the owner of that black feather. It should be the one that has the necklace. Right. Thanks for the help. You ain't got case list, just. Just the uh, Murkro we're looking for. Let me go speak to this Apom again. Oh, Apom! Oh, there you go. I see you're gone. So, about Murkro's nest. So the fig tree near the pond, huh? Thanks. The fig tree. Oh, this one. It's not near the pond, I thought we meant the pond area.
Murkrow's nest could be up in this tree. Yeah. And it looks like no one's home. So, if we're going to investigate, I'll take a look. Let me know if it comes back. Right. Gotcha. Here we go. Oh, that was terrible. Here we go. Go on, Pikachu. I made it. No sweat. Now, is there any kind of evidence to be found in here? Oh, here we go. Hey, Tim! Found something! Uh-oh. Is that... <laughs> Pikachu! It's Murkrow! Watch out! <laughs> Thanks for the help. Nice catch. I took a bit of a hit there. But now we have the evidence we need. Hmm. Murkrow's feather, nice. So nice work. Yeah, it was worth it. Let's get right to comparing it with our feather. It looks like we were correct. The black feather that we found at the scene definitely came from a Murkrow. Quick, let's do an interrogation. Alright, it was Murkrow. I told you it was Murkrow the moment we found the feather. Murkrow! It's a shine to shiny objects. Mm, Alright, I get it. I'm sorry I entered your nest without asking. Anyway, you fought with Apom, right? Murkrow! 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 You didn't, huh? Tim, why don't you show it what we found? This feather is yours, right? It was lying next to the Apom that fainted. So it was you. I'm assuming you had your eye on the necklace. So what did you do with it, huh? You lost it during the fight. That's a very lame excuse. And now you're saying it was someone else. But it seemed like you and Apom were the only ones that were there. You're saying Burmy were in that tree. Uh, well, I guess we'll check that out. Uh-huh, right, right. So, if we are to believe what Murkrow said, there were Burmy in a tree near the spot where uh, Apom is lying down. We finally get to Murkrow and now we're right back where we started. That's not true. We've learned some new facts. We're steadily approaching the necklace. Alright, so the tree near the Apom should have some Burmy in. So there's the uh, Apom. That's, uh, I'm sure it's hard to tell by just looking at it. Let's shake it a little. Okay. Innocent and cheerful. Hi. Sorry if we startled you. There was a fight at this tree earlier, and we think a necklace may have fallen nearby. You know anything? Okay. Well, thanks anyway. Wait, don't leave yet. There's some more stuff we'd like to ask. I think they might be afraid. Well, they are jabbering about a ball flying around. A ball? Just two more questions. What happened after the fight? Did anyone else come around? Sorry, but we can, uh, can we just ask you a few questions? Alright, about the necklace. So you didn't know anything, but... Even in, even info on, on minor things would help. Know anything? Ah, so you remember there being a fight, but you don't know anything about the necklace? Okay. Uh, fight with Apom. Nothing, huh? Even minor details would help us. Oh, one of your buddies got caught up in the fight. So it ran away and hasn't come back. Hmm. Missing Burmy, okay. And about the bull. Why were you fluttered just now? Going on, on about the bull, this and bull that. A black and white bull. That's scary. They're talking so fast that I'm not really uh, following. Alright, so there's a missing Burmy somewhere. Hey Tim. hey Tim, they said one of the Burmy has yet to come back, right? 
Let's go caught up in something. Let's look for it. Sure, but how? Well, according to the Burmese, it must be in some other tree. So we can just find it by shaking trees like we just did? That's right, we may also get eyewitnesses information. And don't forget about interviewing people. Alright, you. What about the Burmese that disappeared? Uh, this guy doesn't seem like he wants to talk. Okay. About the Burmese? No, I was concentrating on the Bedov. I didn't notice anything. Let's talk to the lady. She might know. No, sorry, but since you mentioned that, it went missing. There is something that's been on my mind. Oh, what's on her mind? The trash has appeared. The trash uh, can near the tree that Burmy lives in fell over at some point. The contents have disappeared. What happened? I checked in the morning, the trash can was full of garbage. The amount of loose trash after it tipped over was clearly less than it had been earlier. Maybe someone tied it up? The apron was involved in that fight at the time, so I don't think anyone would have gone near it. Okay. Still empty, yeah. But Dove, got any information? You like to me who Burmy is? It's gonna be tough to interview this one. His name. Okay, then Huey, how about George? No, okay then, what's your name? You forgot it? What a ridiculous creature. I guess that old guy just calls you whatever he likes. We can cover the sad truth here. <laughs> Alright, um. Oh. Pharisee. Silent Observer. Oh, he's got to know something. So. About the necklace. Oh, you saw that there was a fight at the tree, but you didn't notice a necklace. Okay. Bowman disappeared. Yeah, are you listening? I see, so it hasn't come this way. Right. So the Birmingham hasn't come this way, so it should be to the right. Nothing like that. Can we check the pole here? Nope. Yo, kid. Why can't I talk to the kid sometimes? Oh, the ball! The black and white ball that was scaring him. Well, actually, last night the ball hit one and broke its cloak. Oh, so that... So that... Thanks for telling me. Okay. Black and white ball was the football. Pokemon about the size of Burmy went running toward the cafe, but somehow it didn't seem like Burmy. <gasps> Tepig! Had to be, uh... Tepig, surely. Alright, let's go speak to Tepig again. Right. I see, you were so caught in looking for berries that you haven't seen anything. Thanks. Wasn't the, uh... Tepig, then? Nothing in that tree. By oh, this tree. Nope. Yes. About the Burmy. You see a lot of them in this park, but I usually see them in the fountain area these days. I'm oh, looking for a missing one. Don't think we oh, we can interrupt this tree, and here we go. Hey! We found it. It's Burmy. Are you sure? Yeah. But. This one looks a little bit different from the ones we just saw. Hey, can we talk to you for a second? Oh. Don't get close to Burmy. Why? What in the world are you talking about? Are you its guardians? We're not trying to eat it or anything. We happen to be looking for something and we just want to talk to it. My questions have to be answered by you? I heard of being protective, but yeesh. Oh well. Wurma. Okay. It's about the necklace. Doesn't know anything about any quarrel and hasn't seen a necklace. If it's not at the scene, then it can't be helped. So there's a missing bummy in the fountain. Is this that Burmy? Sure, that one was Trash Cloak. That one was Trash Cloak, but Burmy are Burmy, right? If you say they are unrelated, let us talk to it directly. If there's no proof that's involved in this incident, you want us to talk to it? Okay. And we won't get anywhere like this. Let's go, Tim. 
Alright, so what are we going to do now? We need to find evidence to get the well, well madame to let us talk to Burmy. So judging from the reaction, there's definitely something to that trash cloak Burmy. We should just talk to it directly. Yeah, so we have to find some proof that will satisfy the Womadam. Let's gather info about the Burmy. Right. Let's start with you. What about the Burmy? What, Burmy sounds kind of like sour earth? The final smell varies depending on the cloak it says. Okay. And about the Burmy. The reason the fountain area, I don't usually like bug type Pokemon, but those little ones are cute. Kind of quite cute. So let's see, there are definitely various kinds, about three I think. Oh, how are they different? Hmm, I think their forms are different. That old timer way over there may know. Oh, okay. Right, let's quickly talk to you just to get it out there. But I mean, if it wasn't a weather down though, maybe that's too obvious. Okay, still got that. This old timer should know something. Yes, so about Burmy. Oh, glad you asked. I actually wanted to become a Pokemon professor in my younger days. You ready? Let me tell you about Burmy. Okay. Burmy incorporates things uh, that are around it into its cloak when it makes one. Depending on the stuff it incorporates into it, this cloak will be one of three kinds. Plant, sandy, or trash. Okay. So, about the plant cloak. It's a cloak made from leaves and grass. You can see that form in its park. Okay, sandy cloak. Cloak made from sand and dirt. You'll see a lot of these places in like caves. And then trash cloak. So cloak named from trash. You'll see there are a lot of them downtown. So I guess this means that... What's up? Hey Tim, do you remember that blunt guy around the fountain? Let's ask him what time he lost his pen. What, all of a sudden? Don't worry about that. To the man by the fountain. Hmm. Would the pen make the Wormy change form? Guess we'll find out. Kinda of busy here. Uh, about Burmy. No, I'm pretty busy. Okay. Uh, about when did you lose the pen? What's this now? It was last night. I was flustered when I was uh, taking notes here and I dropped it out at the time. Uh, do you know something about it? No, nothing like that. Thank you very much. Missing pen, and the busted cloak. What are you thinking, Pikachu? Wait, hold on. Bolt of brilliance! <laughs> the missing pen. We will find it in Burmy's cloak. Okay, what's this about? How that Burmy makes their cloaks out of their stuff around them? The pen was lying near the Burmy with the busted cloak. Let's go right now and check it out. Hi. Yes, we're back. I'm sorry, but can we investigate your cloaks? Burmy. 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 What did they say, Pikachu? They said no way they get ticklish. Watch out! Burmy. Uh, you okay? Uh, are they hurt? Sorry. Be more careful, okay? Okay. Hey, check it out. Looks like my prediction was right on. <laughs> That's great. What about the necklace? <laughs> Slow down. Get into that. A genius cannot be rushed. Good hunch, Pikachu. Just like this pen, there's a high chance that the necklace got incorporated into a Burmese cloak. But it didn't come out just now. Is that one here? A trash cloak Burmese. That kid said the cloak was different, so it's unrelated. Yeah, it's some trick to it. I think about it, it's cloak. What have become trash cloak? Okay. All right, another theory. It was a plant cloak Burmy, and it got all caught up in Napalm's fight, which caused its cloak to break. So here's a question for you: What evidence points to that? So, why did it become a trash cloak? So this Burmy, is, we know it gets the form from the leaves. Oh, and then? So it looked like that, and then it went into the other form because... 
Oh, the empty trash can. I took all the trash out of there and got his new cloak. There you go. That's it. You're right. Now, let's head to the place with the war madame. Okay. Just gonna find this war madame. Hey there, you got a sec. Would you mind if we took a look at your cloak? We think the necklace we're looking for must have gotten mixed up in Burmy's cloak. It's not in the cloaks of the other Burmy, which means it can only be in this one. Uh, come on, why are you so overprotective? Will you let us look if we show you some proof of a Burmese cloak changing from plant cloak to trash cloak? That's good. Tim, do you have some proof? Yeah. All right, so you gotta show the leaves then? I assume the proof would be the newspaper empty can, but leaves. Mm hmm. That's right. This is what happened the Burmese cloak got caught in the fight between Murkrow and Apom and broke. These leaves are from that cloak. But that's not all. Listen up. Burmy got flustered, and so it decided to make a new cloak out of nearby trash. Burmy! Burmy! Burmy me me! Burma? Burmy me! Burmy me 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 me! Burmy me me! Thank you for your understanding. Now, I'll make this quick. The necklace. Yep. Let's go deliver it. Yeah. And that problem is solved. Okay. Sweet. For the proof, I thought I was just saying like the trash can or the, the can, but then obviously the leaves. Yeah, the leaves that she lost her uh, her cloak. Makes much more sense. Oh, she didn't do anything. Me and Pikachu did all the work. You're really nice. It was nothing. Yeah, because I did all the work. Well, Pikachu helped a lot too. He seems like a great partner, and his hat's really cute. <laughs> well, I guess I should get going. Uh, okay. What are you doing? Invite her out to tea or something. Uh, what are you talking about? Uh, uh, well, anyway. You're going to the Baker Detective Agency, right? How did you know that? You don't get it, do you? I'm your father's. Detective Harry Goodman's partner? Currently, I'm working out of the Baker Detective Agency where we used to consult. Yeah? My dad's Pikachu. Is that really you? What do you mean, is that really me? Uh, sorry. The last time I saw you, you seemed cuter and a bit more docile. Oh. You say I used to be cute, huh? Unfortunately, I lost my memory. What? You've got amnesia? But you said you remember my dad. Well, it's not like I really remember him. I just figured it out from the other conversations. Hey, isn't your appointment at three? Let's go. So, Pikachu showed me the way to the Baker Detective Agency, and I was on my way.